You know how you tell someone's crazy? This is how you tell someone's crazy. Look right there. He's whacking leaves with a stick. Who would ever do such a thing? I don't know. I would never do such a thing. Nuh-uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, pillows. I decided, you know what? We're going to make an episode today. Before I start working on uh, Descent, what's it called? Descent Developer Commentary, which is coming very soon because, well, Descent Publication is coming very soon. <laughs> um, I decided I would play some Bed Wars. One of my last, probably gonna, is probably going to be one of my last games on Hypixel, to be honest. Why is my frame rate dropping all of a sudden? Oh, there we go, it's fixed. Okay, uh, anyways, as I was saying, yeah, after Descent, I'm probably not going to be able to... <laughs> oh. I'm probably going to be too busy after I publish Descent to actually work on... Not work, to play games, so. But you'll be enjoying all of the, the Descent itself, so. <sighs> I just haven't said anything productive this episode yet. Alright, so we're going to play Bed Wars. I absolutely love Bed Wars. One of my favorite games. There's a f I have a few qualms with it, but other than that, it's like really, really good. I'm looking forward to the full game. Granted, like I said, I probably won't be able to actually play much of the full game. So, typical strategy here is we go for the diamonds. If you guys don't know what Bed Wars is, I highly suggest you check it out or research it. Uh, basic premise of the game is to protect your bag eh, bed. It's sort of like Money Wars on, I can't remember what network it is. Um, played it with my brothers a few times. But of course, this Hypixel's own twist. Uh, it's pretty neat. The diamonds over here that I'm going for right now, you can use to get team upgrades, which can be really powerful. I've actually learned that if you upgrade your uh, resource generator maximum, you actually get emeralds. And emeralds, you usually only get those at mid, very rare and they allow you to get the most powerful items in the game. So diamonds pretty much just a team thing, or is the emeralds? Those are the big boys. Because you give them to villagers, and villagers are like, uh-huh. So obviously we don't have really good defenses at the moment. I'm not sure how much I plan to beef them up. Typically, I like, I enjoy clutching in this game. Because it, and just a heads up, this game might take a while because of that. Because I am a strategist. I'm typically a strategist. That means that I enjoy the long, intense, not necessarily intense, but drawn out games. Which is one of the primary reasons I'm making these uh, paths right now, is because these are extremely valuable. It's really good if you can take over two of the diamond generators. Because you can get up to sharp one weapons and uh, protection for. Here. Oh wow, red's already dead. That was highly unexpected, and it looks like it might be coming for us. Not really. Actually, this is nice for us because red, I think, is red. Or, yeah, red's right over there. So we could bridge over. We could potentially. I'm not sure if I want to do this, but bridge over to their base, and then from there build over to a third diamond generator. And that's actually not that bad of an idea, considering the fact that we're not too far into this game yet, as well as the fact that. Uh, we might need it if we're gonna if, if we're gonna clutch this. Granted, my team's really good here, so I mean, might just be a short and nice game. We'll see. Bet you want to get some of that extra padding there. Oh boy! So it appears that Red doesn't want anything with us. So, hey, you probably best get out of here, buddy. Yeah. Oh boy, that was fast. Nice? I guess I, nice is a good word to describe it. It would be optimal for me to go from one island to the other, but at, it's, it's fine. It's easier to, to make railings on diagonals. It's just much more expensive block-wise. And it's nice because then you can go over to the base and store your diamonds. And you don't have this path connected to mid. Granted, it's already there. So, Ramblings aside, how is your day going? Tell me about it. What's the best thing that happened to you? My day's been going pretty well. School's been a little bit slow. I mean, it's sort of sad because I'm a senior, you know, I'm graduating here. Another reason why I won't be playing much after this episode. Um, so, 
Yeah, a little bit sad. Other than that, it's like super awesome. Doing a lot of cool stuff at the school. And yeah, this life is good. Stories in that I trust. I have some really just a lot of really nice people there. And of course I just always try to be optimistic. Now that's also an interesting discussion, is optimism. Because we can talk about optimism. So I was talking with one of my teachers today, and they were like, they, and they had this totally different perspective of optimism than I have. So apparently, some uh, optimism is making the most, uh, is thinking the best of, let's say, something. Um, in my opinion, it's making the most of how things are at the moment, or rather, it's going to be really fast. Um, but what they had believed is that it is making the most of what is to come. And so actually that's a really interesting view because in that case, if you're being pessimistic, you're not looking, you're, you're, you're saying, well, I'm gonna have low expectations of what is to come. Then when something good does happen, you'd be surprised. And that would result in what I call optimism. So it's, it's this really interesting thing where what one person <laughs> considers uh, optimism is pessimism and what I consider pessimism is optimism for some people. Um, I just try to stay optimistic. When, when I refer to optimism, I mean I am making the most of this moment, which is something I try to do. I think it's a very valuable skill. Because, oh boy, you're going to run away from me, are you? Because, I mean, why not make the most of it? Um, here to enjoy life, to, to learn, to, to grow. We don't get much of anywhere by just wallowing and pity and whatnot. <laughs> and of course it allows you to, to see uh, extra perspectives. So um, some great, oh, potatoes of people over here. So for instance, there was, uh, this is this is an interesting example. And I'll definitely bring this up in the Descent thread. And, uh, we'll talk. I have a lot to say there because it's also one of my final threads. Uh, why are they shooting at us? There was a YouTuber who was attempting to... How do I explain this? They tried to get people to team. In order, it was all for entertainment, right? And now, you know, that... Some people might be like, oh, yeah. Well, I'm a fan of this YouTuber. Who cares? Uh, but in reality, that's against the rules. And you have to apply those server rules. And so he was banned in the end. And, you know, instead of the moderator is making like this big deal, uh, sorry, the administrator is making this big deal out of it, which you know, they did for multiple reasons. Um, they also added in this interesting thing where they explained, uh, we're actually really proud of you guys because uh, most of the people in the video, they actually didn't team. They refused, despite being pressured by a YouTuber. And to be completely honest, I think that's really, really, really uh, impressive. Um, but all that goes to say is, like, by having that bit of optimism, what well, I call optimism, <laughs> they're able to look at that situation and say, you know what? Sure, some bad stuff happened, repercussions happened, but we're proud of you guys. You're, you, you did what was right. That's the kind of perspective I want to have. I think that's something Hypixel has taught me a lot. Is, oh, potatoes, we're dead. Is this going to be one of the... Oh, nope, we got Obsidian. I completely forgot about that. But you're still dead. <laughs> Goodbye. But yes, indeed. Uh, just talking, a lot of the staff members on here. I don't, I'm not sure if it's like the experience that causes it. Or, uh, or if they're trained. or I, I don't know. It, I get that vibe from a lot of people, and it rubs off, and it's really, it's just a good philosophy, in my opinion. Oh, potatoes, is there another fellow here? Quit, quit trying to come in here and whack us apart. You know, actually, uh, kudos to, uh, what's his face, uh, Jack Herobrine for coming in here and trying to destroy our base. If there wasn't Obsidian, he would have succeeded, so it was actually really wise for him to go in at that moment, and especially because he was one of the last people on his team, because he, he knew his bow was already broken. Um, so kudos to you, my friend, for being courageous and trying to, trying to take that down. I'm going to buy some backup gear here for myself. That's a little bit greedy. 
I'm a little bit greedy in this game. This is for it, like uh, the final, it, if our bed is destroyed, this is what I'll put on. I always like to keep that emergency set. Cause you know, what if, what if like they get camp at your base and what can you do? You have to escape from there or kill them or whatever. And if you only have a stinking wooden pickaxe, you can't do much of anything. Oh, this is our guy. So that's why I always like to keep them back up here. So let me let me know what you guys think of optimism too. Are you optimistic? Do you believe that it's looking it's 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 looking forward to something good, or do you believe it's making the most out of your situation? Google probably says one way or the other, but in in classic usage I've seen both, so let me know what you think. Alrighty. So we're chilling here, we've got some we've already got prot one gear. Saving up for who knows what, you know what, let's go ahead and buy this. The coal Forge, get more items for the team. It's always nice to have a lot of items in here. Especially if the team's uh, like nice and they don't hoard it in their ender chest or whatever. Which is one of the things, this is a really nice team actually, because they're not, they haven't done that at all yet. Ooh, Potatoes, there's a yellow fellow over there. I might go to mid. Is it enchanted? No, it's just a regular old silly bow. But you know, we got the this diamond gen right over here. We might as well make some use of it. Let's go. <laughs> That's one of the things I'm looking most forward to about the set is listening to people's feedback on it. Cause there's, it's like, cause this intention is to spark a discussion. There's a lot of, you know, philosophical themes in there. Some of them are objective, a lot of them are subjective. Um, so, I'm just really looking forward to seeing what people have to say, what people interpret. So, I just love, I, I love stuff like that. I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't call myself a nerd, but. Okay. Should we, fo I, should we focus on the game instead of talking about life? I think we should focus on the game. You guys want to see me play. You guys just want to see me kick some butt. Well, I have some news for you. I'm terrible at kicking butt, and I need to save up the best gear in the game before I go out and be courageous. So, yeah, let's, let's go get some gear. I think I'm going to try to get a knockback stick here. And try to use that to walk this, whack this fellow off. Now, of course, we're going to try to go around from behind as well in order to get a jump on him. And of course, hopefully, if he has some diamonds, some emeralds on him, we can uh, use some of those for backup gear. Or I don't know, whatever, whatever. <sighs> um, he's probably really geared up now. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if he has the punch bow. Ooh, I, oh, he's at his base. Bummer. We can't go for him then. Actually, we could. Oh, look. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, nice work, the master for all. And you put up a good fight, the the fair, the fair evil HD. You actually killed a ton of people here. I'm super impressed. Like, for a solo on one life, you are amazing, my friend. You deserve all the credit. All right, can you do it, man? You got this? Yeah, you got this. Why am Why am I even? He's got a stinging wooden pickaxe. Hey, bro, how's it going? Oh, as you can tell, my PvP skills are the worst. It used to be much better. Then again, you know, I have a little bit of confidence because I have the nice armor. One of the biggest mistakes I make in this game is trying to hit people off with this stinking stick. Because the uh, knockback only works half the time. And then, uh, oh, better get these resources out. And then, uh, what was I going to say? And then, of course, they get a bunch of hits on you while you're just sitting there flailing around like an idiot. So, oh, potatoes, is someone... Hey, get your butt over here. You ain't gonna mine into our base. <laughs> I'm so bad. Oh, boy. Thank you, buddy. Ow, come on, fellas. Why can't we just be friends? Just, just, just be friends, you know? All right. My thoughts right now. We're gonna grab some gapples for the ender chest. Okay. Now, 
Are both our teammates alive? No, someone just... Ah, both of them just died. Okay, so I better chill here. But my plan is, hopefully, to head over to yellow, I think it is. Yeah, yellow. And then we're going to try to build over to their base from there. Because it won't be... They, they're, they're expecting people from this end. Like, they know. Be on the lookout over here. But if I go through by... Uh, Yellow, they both might not notice me. Sweet. Ah, we're gonna go put these away. Ah, you know what? Forget it. We're gonna get some diamond armor. Typically, I try to go for the bow, but I usually try to save that until well, the last bit, of course, as well. Because, uh. Because the bow's really good, and if you lose it, eh. Potatoes. Okay. Now, did he manage to destroy my teammate? Nope. He's still chilling. Still being a cool bean. That d guy with diamond armor, he's like, ah, I'm not gonna go. Oh, holy potatoes! Three, three stinking, two emeralds, right? This can't be true. Look at all the emeralds that are around here. This is unreal. Eight emeralds. We have, that's enough for a bow. And if I have just a few more, I can get a sword as well. Now, of course, that's gonna be saved, so... Oh, thank you for helping Laura's help, by the way. Okay. Don't, don't, just don't mess with us, okay? Bows. You know, this actually might be a drawn-out game, because what I'm, what I'm observing here, uh, bear with me, is that these potatoes are... They've got three of them, and I've only got two on my team. Me and this other potato... And they've got some really good gear, so they're just going to keep coming at us. Wow, that's 25 gold right there? For our only three stacks of those? That's not bad. Um, oof, yeah, so going to... And they're gathering gear over there, which is not a pretty sight to behold. Ah, I'm going to try to make a railing. Ah, you know what? Forget it. We're going to go get some diamonds. Uh, ooh, they're gonna go for, ah, you know what we can do? If they're gonna go to the left, right here, we can drop the diamonds off, or we can just booby trap this guy, not booby trap, uh, unexpectedly prance on this guy. <laughs> right here, <laughs> goodbye. Store these away, go get the other diamonds. There's only gonna be five diamonds on there, oh well. Um, go back. So the next upgrade for armor is gonna be 20 diamonds, worth it though, uh, always worth it for the for the armor and then from there i guess we just upgrade haste or something like that maybe the resource generator i don't know whatever we feel like on this fine day our teammate's still alive that means we're not in too much peril i'm tempted okay 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 yeah we need to go to to our base okay and if i get one more diamond i should emerald i should be able to uh purchase that dandy sword. Okay, is there anyone at our base? I don't want anybody, like, to be secretly mining in there. Yeah, it's, uh, this is so suspenseful. I don't want anybody to, to, to nag our stuff, so. Okay, sword, boom. Uh, gold and whatnot, boom. Uh, diamonds, we've got, Lots of them, which I'm happy about. We want a few more. Oh boy, here are some people. Goodbye. Oh boy. So, these bad boys. Oh, there's two. Ouch. Oh, okay. I'm alive. Come on! Oh, so close. Got him. Oof. Oof. That was intense. You know what? I'm going to just get some golden apples to eat on the go. I... Yeah, I know it's probably unwise of me to eat it right there. Oof. 
that could have been devastating if we hadn't caught that. Oh, boy. I'm going to try to grab some more diamonds here. Try to get that next protection upgrade. It would be really, really nice. And then try to go back through mid again to get more stuff. You know, usual drill. Ah, I see. My teammate's going... You know, I'm going to try to... After this, I'm going to get some backup swords for us. Because I don't want us to be left without swords. I think I've said that before. I can't remember what I said in this episode. I hope you guys can hear me. The mic is rather quiet last I checked. And it's probably picking up a lot of background noise right now. You know, but there's a fan in the background. I'm just going... Shh. God love it. I know you guys love it. Fans. You're my fans. You're making the background noise. Right. Stopping cheesy link. We all know you're a sucker. Alright. Ten emeralds. Like nobody goes to mid. What is this? <laughs> oh boy. So we could get a we could get an OP bow. We could get the OP pickaxe. Let's go ahead and just, why not get the OP pickaxe? <laughs> Just go ahead. And with the also we can get the 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 next armor. Boom! Protection three. How dandy is that? Okay. So item shop. The tools. The OP pickaxe. This is like the, the Lord of All pickaxes. Um blocks, we can get some obsidian. That's actually not unwise, because they keep trying to mine in there. Let's get some obsidian here. Oh, uh, let's plop this bad boy in here. Go like this. Grab a bunch of backup swords in case terrible things happen. You know what? We have four... Can we get mining fatigue at all? Mmm. Okay, so we could definitely get that. That would be an investment. So this guy was trying to get in over here. Over meow. Ooh, what I forgot was to get uh, shears for a final bit. Okay. So... Boom, boom. That should protect it really significantly. And our bed's still not destroyed. I'm really surprised at that. How, how, uh, how long our beds remained alive. Okay, so we're gonna try. Oh, wow! Our teammate is, like, he's got game there. Gonna do that. You know, I probably should put one right here. Boom. I don't know if that's going to help at all. That was probably the worst arrangement ever. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I beat myself up too much. Okay. Let's go get the maniac... No, no, the mining fatigue thing. That way, if they do happen to get to our base, they will have the worst time ever. I could just probably chill over here and let my teammate hit them with the pickaxe to death. That's legitimately how long it would probably take them to mine in. Provided my teammate doesn't whack their bed to death right now. He could... Very well could. And I wouldn't mind. Finish this episode. <laughs> Link, stop running around in circles to the diamonds. This is an interesting. It's interesting to me. That's what I love about this game. It's slowly making your way up the ladder. I mean, the ladder's not really big. It's like four people tall. With two people being in groups. So you shouldn't separate the two. Uh, and yeah, I know I'm buying, buying stupid stuff like that, but... It's gonna, it's gonna make, it's gonna be worth it in the end, don't worry. So I bought the OP pickaxe, I also bought the obsidian, okay. I was wondering what I spent the other four emeralds on. I probably should spend it on, you know what, dude. How, there's so many emeralds here, I don't get it. <laughs> I should just get a speed potion, an invisibility potion, and a, an ender pearl, and just finish them off. We have so much gold, I could just get the, the golden pickaxe. Go, I just, you know what, that's what we're going to do here. We don't have that much gold, actually. Oh, wait, we do. We have uh, I meant the diamond pickaxe, by the way, not the gold, obviously. Okay. Oh, and our guy was knocked off. Okay, so we're going to get this. We're going to get uh, this, obviously. So, okay, and we're going to try to put all this away, so that way I can't take it. Oh, and, of course, we need the items to do this uh invisibility and speed okay this is actually oh never mind i can't do the so the ender pearl is going to be our like backup way out so if all else fails we can use the ender pearl 
Because what happens is that the moment we take damage, the, uh, the invisibility wears off. Therefore, we cannot use the ender pearl. Oh, are you going to snipe me, fella? Are you just going to sit over there and be a cheeky little fella? <gasps> Look at all these diamonds. We're going back to the base. Forget about that plan. We got diamonds to spend. We're going to win this, baby. Okay. So this makes how many diamonds in total? 19. We need 30, right? 30. Okay. We could probably get that. Ooh, in he comes. Ah, oh, we better put this on number three. Yeah, we can go ahead and get the gap up. I'm tempted to go... I want to go get more diamonds, but I know this guy's going to take me down the moment he can. Ah, uh, he's not that great of a name. We'll be fine. Now hopefully he'll just ignore us while we zoom across the map into his base. It's gonna end up so bad! <laughs> Especially since you can pro- I, if I remember you can see uh, name tags in uh, 1.8, so if he's 1.8, we're done for. Come on, come on, come on. His efficiency for diamond, that's like five seconds. We're done. Good game. It was fun playing. Yo, bro, get out of my face. Come fight me. Fight me like a man. And this OFK fella over here. Nah, bro, he's cool. He's cool. Look at him. Look at. He's got this neat blue slimy face. Don't need to be violent. Go, he, we can give him some emeralds. It'll, it'll give him a better chance. Cause we, whatever. Go ahead and kill him. Go, 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 go. All right, fellows. That was Bed Wars. Link playing Bed Wars for his first and probably last time because I'm a noob. Um, game is a little bit long, but. I like long games. I don't know. Let me know if you guys like long games. If you don't like long games, we can always stick to shorter things. Awkward silence. Okay. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope that someone you admire says something nice to you today. All right. Toodaloo.